What's up, YouTube? Posic29 here. Welcome to episode number 34 of my bucket plugin coding tutorials. In this episode, I am going to teach you guys about fireworks and how to spawn custom fireworks. And uh, basically, the plugin will launch a firework in the location of a player whenever a player joins. So. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to make a new project, which I will call Join Firework. And let's make our package. And let's go ahead and make our Join Firework class. Okay. Now we just need to add bucket and plugin implements listener. And good. Now we are going to go ahead and make our event. Add event handler. Public void on player join. This is a player join. Join event E. We can now say firework F equals firework E dot get player dot get world dot spawn E dot get player dot get location firework dot class. Go ahead and import all of that. So what we're doing is we're spawning uh, at the player's location uh, a firework. And we're getting an instance of that. We're casting firework because, um, so spawn will, um, you know, it'll spawn basically, yes. So we can actually, yes. So it will basically give us a new instance of the firework class. Now that we're in here, we can do f dot. You can get all the information in here, but what you want to get is f dot get firework meta, and we can say firework meta fm equals f dot get firework meta, and this is basically the firework metadata that we can play around with. So. Um, you'll find some cool methods in here. You can um, you can add firework effects. Um, you can add enchantments to it. You can uh, do you know a few different things. So let's just go through and see some of the interesting things. So when we want to uh, so when you want to add an effect, you type firework effect dot builder dot and this will give you a new instance of the builder class, which is what you use to create a um, firework effect. So you can go through and change all of this. So do we want it to flicker? No. Um, do we want it to trail? Yes, we want it to trail. Uh, then you can say, you know, with color or li with colors, we can say um, color dot red. Make sure it's org dot bucket dot color. And even before that, you could say dot with, and then you can use a type, like uh, type dot um, creeper. Make sure it's a firework effect dot type and not like an audio file format or anything. But uh, let's say we want it to be a creeper. We want the color to be red, or no, better yet, we want it to be green because it's a creeper. Um, you can have it fade. So let's have it fade blue. Um... And then, uh, once you have your effect on, you can just type, you can use the build method, which will return a new, um, firework effect. And to make it easier to look at, you can put it on different lines. And you can now see that we've added a, an effect to the firework. So now we can go ahead and do FM and take a look at some of the other stuff. Uh, you can get all of the effects on it and, you know, see what effects are on it. Uh, there's all the standard item meta things like, um, 
like the lore and enchantments and whatever. Um, what's interesting? You can also set the power. I'm not completely sure what... I'm not completely sure what that will do. I think it... I don't know the bounds of the power, but just go ahead and set it to 3. Finally, you can do F dot set firework meta FM. And now you've set it. And now I believe, once you're ready... That should be all that you need to do. So now let's go ahead and do our public void on enable bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register event this comma this good awesome. Now we need a plugin dot yml which I did not prepare already. Launch a firework when a player joins. Okay, now let's go ahead and export our join firework plugin to join firework. Good, now we can go to our testing server and start that up and we can go ahead and start up the minecraft launcher and very good okay Computer seems to be running a bit slow, but uh, there we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and join our local host. Alright. And now we are on the server. So, let's go ahead and set, um, set the time to night. Wow, it's pretty dark. And let's take a look and see if it works. Hmm. Did not appear to work. Let's see what the problem is. Hmm. does appear to look fine. Alright, join firework is running. But I do not see anything. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and figure out what's wrong. There we go, guys. I solved the problem. Um, I think that the problem was that when the player first joins, there's a problem with, you know, getting the player's world and, like, spawning it at their location or something. Maybe it doesn't load their location properly. So I put it in a delayed task, which runs 20 ticks, which is one second. So, um, if I go ahead and export this, what it will do now is when I join, it'll wait for one second, then it'll fire off the firework. And as you can see, the firework is going up, and it is a creeper that fades off into blue, and it does trail. Uh, so that's how we uh, programmed the effect. So, that is all for this video, guys. You learned how to create fireworks, which is uh, pretty awesome. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment what you want to learn, and email pogosick29dev at gmail.com. Any of your questions, whether they be about 
um, my coding experience or me personally, and very soon I will do a uh, Q&A video about that. Bye, guys.